The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. Hi guys. Max Caulfield here in my dorm room in Blackwell Academy. I'm replacing Medical Final for Seven because he's too sick from an awesome disease to be here right now. But I just thought I'd talk about my first day, in, well, my first few weeks, in fact, in my new academy. And there's this boy in my class called Warren. He's such a creep. I hate him. But, um, and Nathan Prescott, he's a freaking psycho. And Victoria Chase, she is such a bitch. But the weirdest thing happened today. I found out I could rewind time. And I actually saved my best friend, who I've not seen in five years, uh, in the bathroom. She got shot today, and I just reached out my hand, and I saved her. <laughs> Sorry, not as a shit impression, guys, but hi guys, it's Medical Fan 7 and um, this is actually like a cosplay rehearsal because I'm actually going dressed as Max Caulfield to a Halloween party tomorrow. Uh, you know you know my friend Alex, you might have seen her in some of my videos before, we're complete bonkers in our videos, we don't like, I tend to redo let's plays of games that we've done off story games and that because we, could, we never really take them that seriously and I want to take them seriously and then play them on my own. But yeah, I'm going to a Halloween party tomorrow and she's dressing as Chloe Price and I'm dressing as Max Caulfield. Ready for the mosh pit shaka bra? <laughs> but yeah, I took some pics and shared them on Facebook and I was meaning to vlog this tomorrow for Halloween, but my sister was just nagging me to try my outfit just now, just to see what it looks like, in case I didn't like it or something, but it doesn't really matter, because even if it didn't fit me right now, I, I wouldn't have enough time to send it back and get a new one by tomorrow, tomorrow's Halloween, but, um, yeah, I really like the outfit, it cost me really a lot of money, it cost like £80, like, everything, like, the dearest thing was these Converse trainers, they were like, hang on, I've got the prices up here, how much were they, um, £38, and yeah, I don't know what that is in dollars, but my Jane Doe, uh, t-shirt. I love how you could even get these. I didn't even know that they existed. But yeah, you can actually get them. I thought they were just like exclusive type of strange. This was only £9.50. Uh, my hoodie. Believe it or not, this is actually a men's hoodie, but the t-shirt's a, a female a t-shirt. Because it gives me a big bosom. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I got a... Oh yes, I forgot to say. I got a Polaroid camera as well, but it's got no film in it. But it was just more for show. And this was like £29.99, and I was like, oh, that was quite a lot of money. But, um... My con yeah, so I told you my Converse trainers. Oh yeah, my hoodie was just seven pound fifty three, and um, and I just I don't know. I did, I did take some pictures, but it's kind of hard to show like a full body view on camera right now. I'll tap myself. No, that looks weird. I'll say I'll tap myself on the side, but there you go. Like there's my blue jag. I love my blue jag, and they make my butt look really big and feminine. So yeah, <laughs> like God, baby, God, is darling. But um, the last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu, and that was kind of sad, really. And yeah, Max Caulfield has developed a new like for The Walking Dead, and, you know, Negan and all that. She doesn't like Final Fantasy anymore. She now thinks it's the worst sci-fi film ever made. Well, what, what Final Fantasy was it she actually talked about in the game? But yeah, I love Life is Strange, by the way, so I thought it was only fitting, because that's a game that Alex actually introduced me to, and we both share, like, a similar uh, like for it. I'm all price fueled, by the way, fuck Warren. But, um... Yeah, me and Alex, uh, we like that game, and uh, we just thought it'd be only fitting to do cosplay as them for Halloween. We're actually having a Life is Strange party for Halloween, but it's still a Halloween party technically, because just any form of cosplay, in my opinion, is Halloween, Halloween based. But, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I might actually, yeah, I did take, oh, shot notifications. But yeah, I actually took, uh, like some pics as I said, and I also took a couple of videos of me saying something, then muting what I said, and then dubbing Max's voice over it, because I thought it'd be pretty funny. But uh, it's pretty bad quality though, but it eh, doesn't matter. I'm sorry about my poor lighting with my camera. It, it's terrible lighting. My, my room is so dark, and when I'm recording at night time, it's just terrible. But um, yeah, it was actually, I, I would say no, I want to change tomorrow, I can't be bothered. I was wanting to get on with the YTP, but I thought, if I can just log out the way now, I can actually YTP tomorrow. But, yeah, she actually did my makeup for me, like, the f like if you look closely, you can see I actually did my freckles and that. They're a bit over the top, they're, they're really showing on camera, but I did rub my face after a while, so my foundation probably came off, but I covered them with foundation to make them look a bit more faint, but yeah, they sort of came off. And I also gave myself, like, dark bags under my eyes. This is only a rehearsal, though, so I tomorrow I might lay, like, lay off a little on the freckles, because they're a little bit over the top, but, um, yeah, tomorrow I might lay off. And when I actually put on the foundation, my lips look really, like, powdery, so I covered up with, um, like, lip gloss just to make them look a bit more like lips and I got like eyeliner on on the top of my lips uh, uh, lips what the hell eyelids and that's it and I got a wig and I think it's, it was actually an Asian wig but uh, it looked a lot like Max Caulfield's so I went for it and how much was my wig actually oh yeah I signed it but I'm going to come back into it but thanks for watching guys and let me take a selfie darling 
You just hide behind a camera and you're l I can't remember, what is this that Victoria Chase says? Something like, something about your lame retro selfies. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I know, I'm a styling weirdo, darling. See you later. I'm so happy you're my partner in crime, as long as you're my partner in time. I don't want to go that way. They say that even